Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cobra, and welcome to the series where I teach you how to manipulate images in Python. So you already know how to draw shapes onto images, well in this video we're going to be taking it a step further and drawing text onto them instead. This is pretty much the same sort of thing, but there are a few differences with it, so I thought I'd make it a separate video. Of course, if you find the video helpful at any point, then make sure to hit the like button to let me know, and consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future installments in the series. But with that out of the way, let's get into it. Thankfully for us, drawing text on an image is actually simpler than drawing uh, shapes on an image. Well, I say that. It's just less functions to uh, to actually care about. There's only the one. But the imports, once again, we have a new one. Oh, it's so exciting. So from image, import image, image draw, and image font. So image font, as you can probably tell, reads in a font uh, file. I should actually show this off real quick. I knew, I now have a fonts directory. I created one. I kind of forgot that we would need one. So I've just created one now. And I've just dumped the entire Fear of Sans family in here. Uh, if you're not familiar with Fear of Sans, it is, the co it is the font that I use for a lot of my branding. So if you look at my thumbnail, the actual title of the thumbnail and the episode number are both in Fear of Sans. I just really like the font. It's also the font of the, uh, the operating system I'm using. So that's kind of convenient. But yeah, I'm just going to use any of these. Uh, feel free to have or not have your own separate fonts directory. It doesn't bother me at all. So we're going to have uh, if name equals main. And then uh, with image dot open. Oh, we love this line, don't we? We really do. We cannot get enough of it. And we're going to have... Ooh, you know, we're going to have the marina. We haven't had the marina yet. And we're going to have the marina. Uh, and then we're going to have JPG as in, uh, you know, what? we're going to create an advertising poster for Swansea Marina. Hell yeah. Uh, so what we need to do is do M equals add text, which we're going to create. And then we're going to pass in the, the image again. We're going to have hello world. We're going to just have that for now. And then, um, 100 by 100, and then uh, 60. So I'll explain what all those things are now. So we can have def add text. We have the image, as you can tell, the text, that's the hello world. The position, I'm actually gonna call it top left again. And the size. So the top left again is a tuple of coordinates and the size is simply an integer. Uh, I'm just leaving it as to what I've got in the plan for now. We can always adjust it as time goes on. So with the font, we can define font as image font dot true type. I believe there are open type stuff as well. I actually don't know. Uh, we're going to do dot slash fonts slash and then, oh God, what is it? I think it's Fira Sans dash regular dot TTF in my case. Just please note that this font does actually have to be on your system for it to work. If you don't have the font either installed or whatever, then uh, it's not going to work. I don't know if it can take system fonts which is why I have a separate fonts directory here. Uh, if you're on Linux, you can use the uh, tilde slash dot fonts to get your fonts from there. You don't have to do this, um, but Fear of Sans isn't in that directory because it's an OS one, so that's why I'm just putting it here. And it just makes it easier. And in here, we're gonna pass in a size. So this is the size of the font. This is the font face, simple enough. Uh, and then we're gonna have our draw context once again, image draw dot draw. Him. After that, we're simply going to put draw dot text uh, position. Well, we called it top left, didn't we? Uh, text font equals font, and then fill. Now oh, we can actually pass the color in here. Why? Why not? You know, we've done it for the others. We'll do it here as well, and I'll pass the color in there. And then a uh, return. Do I need to do? No, I don't. Return him. And then we'll have the color, we'll have, we'll have it 255, 255, 255. And I don't think we need to pass an alpha in. We'll see. Uh, I guess we'll find out. And we're going to do im.save, uh, dot slash saved images, slash uh, marina with text. As you can see, I cleared out my saved images directory just to kind of try and clean things up a bit. Uh, so we're going to do Python tutorial 4. And we'll see if we get an error. We don't, so presumably it worked. Oh, there we go. You can't, s hang on, <laughs> I'm gonna change the color. Uh, so zero, 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 and we're also gonna make it bigger. We're gonna make it 250, because I forgot the these images are enormous, the ones from my camera. There you go. So you can see in our in our Fear of Sans font, again, this should be somewhat familiar to you, we have the word Hello World over a picture of Swansea Marine. This is actually one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken. I love that photo so much. Um, 
But yeah, as you can see, drawing text on images really is not that difficult. Um, however, there are some other aspects that you may want to take into consideration, but for now, we're just sticking with the basics of just drawing messages. Uh, if you want multi-line text, I believe it's multi-text. I oh, know this isn't part of the plan, but this should work. Uh, it's good to see you. If this doesn't work, I'll look it up real quick because I feel as though I probably should have covered that. No, it's not multi text. All right, give me one second while I look it up because I feel as though I should cover this. Okay, so it was multi line text, uh, not multi text. I was on the right sort of uh, lines. Um, but uh, yeah, not quite right. Interesting, I got it from a GitHub issue. This has been minus one. It says it doesn't, uh, someone says it doesn't work. It does. It clearly does. It worked for me. Um, did I actually even show it off? There we go. Yeah, see, hello world, it's good to see you. Put it on two lines. Uh, I believe if you try and do this with just the nat normal text, just realized I never actually tried this, so this may... <laughs> you don't need multi-line text at all. I thought, okay, so you could just put a backwards in. Oh, oh, sorry, the backwards in. Um, backslash n. You don't need multi-line text at all, apparently. Okay. That clears that up. Uh, yeah, I thought I would just cover that real quick because I felt as though that would be rather important. Uh, Multi-line text may come with more... Apparently it comes with more options, such as spacing and stuff. But uh, ultimately, you know, multi-line text with the, the new line character should be okay. Um, so that is really all the basics are after drawing text on an image. Again, I told you it was quite a bit simpler than the last one. Um, but yeah, if you do have any questions about what you've seen, then don't be afraid to leave a comment uh, or join the Discord server using the link in the description. But yeah, with that, I would like to thank my super patron, Darky, and all of my other patrons for being as awesome as they are. And I will see you next time when we talk about applying filters to images. Uh -huh.